All right, so the new MakerBot print software has auto arrange, which is really useful if you need to arrange objects across one or more build plates. So if you're like me, I'm a teacher, my students turn in a whole bunch of files all at once, and I need to auto arrange them and resize them, and probably it's gonna take up more than one build plate for every class. So this allows me to put organize files by class and then distribute them to different build plates and arrange the build plates individually. So to do that, what you're going to do is start off by pressing the project panel up in the corner here. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to add models or you can drag your models to this area here. So here's my files and I'm going to grab all those and open them. And you can see what it does is it loads all of those files into the project all at once. Unlike the old system, though, you're not going to see them all, all 12 of the files pop onto the build plate at once. Let me explain to you what's happened here. It is, because these are checked, it's using all your files. But what it's done is it's down here. If we go further, you can make this bigger. You can see down here at the bottom, it has split this for these files up into, well, for me, eight different build plates because some of them are very big. What I'm going to do now is show you how to manage models and move them back and forth from build plates and put them in the right place. Now, for my specific application, um, I want to make it so that every kid has about the same size quadruped so that I'm not printing one massive and then for another kid very small. So uh, for me, what I need to do first of all is I'm going to click on the first build plate and I'm going to move these. I like to just deal with one thing at a time. So I'm going to move this guy over here and um, I'm going to orient it. Okay, so now that that's there, I'm going to go over to the scale button. And again, this is a very small one. So I'm going to actually scale that up. So it's about 90 millimeters. And again, this is different, you know, depending on what print job you have, you know, it's up to you, however you want to do that. I'm going to go to the next one. Again, So now that I've got these three arranged on the build plate just like I like them, um, I'm need, I have room for a, a fourth one. But see, they've put the fourth one on the second build plate. So I'm going to click over to the second build plate, right click on this model, click on it, then right click and move to build plate one back to the other one. And so you can see already it's been moved there. And now this is how you kind of juggle objects between build plates. And so now I feel like I have a build plate that's set up just exactly how I want it for the first four. Now I'm going to go on to build plate number two. And you can see MakerWare has automatically deleted the other one that was empty because I moved the file off of it. Okay, so this one's going to have to go. So now I'm going to start editing this build plate. I'm going to orient this how I want it. Now that I got this guy the way I want it, I'm going to go and grab from build plate three. And I'm going to move this to build plate two because I still have some room on that build plate. And while we could certainly fit more on this one build plate, um, with the time I have every day, I don't have time for massive print jobs to leave them running when I'm not around. So I'm going to have to stick with these smaller sizes. Okay, so now we have all the objects arranged on the build plate onto three build plates, and each one has been scaled. Let's check them out. 
save your project. So I'm going to save project as, and in that same folder, these are my fourth period, so fourth quadrupeds, so fourth quads, and I'm going to save them there. Now I can get back in this project whenever I want to and print any of these plates by simply pressing the print button. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have a print going on my printer. So overall, this process, the whole video without fast forwarding took me about eight minutes to arrange a build plate, which is really good because now I don't have to wonder what I printed, what I didn't. I can just click. And if a, if a plate goes bad, I can go back to it and reprint just that plate. I can always add more build plates if I want by pressing the plus button, but right now I don't really need to do that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, um, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Tell me what I can do better in the comments. Thanks, everybody.